Hey there! I'm Ricky Dawkins, here to present this episode's How to Use Logic Pro X and Other DAWs Properly. By special request, this episode will delve into Dither. Dither isn't actually included as a plugin in Logic Pro X, but using some cleverness, we can faithfully reproduce Dither sounds by employing several other features that are bundled in the DAW. No discussion of dither could be done without the definition of dither, which differs depending on the dictionary. Miriam says it's a shiver or tremble, while dictionary.com declares it to be a trembling vibration. Google delineates it as adding white noise to a digital recording to reduce distortion. In the following audio demos, I'll demonstrate four methods of emulating dither using only the included FX's in Logic Pro X. For our audio, we'll be using a video of a poem composed by Darla Margaret Kennard, a naturalist poet from 1800s England. In the first example, we'll use tremolo for trembling, which should put us in good standing with Miriam's definition. As in winter weather withers, do not dawdle, do not dither, for your face will freeze. Forgive her, nature's naturally a sinner. In the second method of imitating dither, we'll follow dictionary.com's prescription and include both trombolo and vibration. Robbed of time and robbed of senses, one is trapped among the fences. As the winter's wind condenses all your logical expenses. For the third, first let's just listen to the undithered track. Wallow in the murky mud, it's there in fact that flowers bud. Though nature kills in cold, cold blood, she can also change suddenly. Now with some white noise added. Am I the eye, or am I blind? Why does my band remain unsigned? Peel the layers of the rind, perhaps you'll find the mastermind. You hear how much warmth is added to the signal flow? Oh, one more bonus trick. Recall that one of, recall that one goal of dither is to reduce distortion. So, another method available to us is to simply activate distortion effects, whose drive setting will naturally be at 6, and just turn that down to 0, thereby reducing the overall distortion of the timbre. I definitely hope you'll endeavor to adopt dither into your mixes. If you don't wish to use the hacks presented in this tutorial, there are several third parties you can buy that basically do the same thing. But if you're like me, you probably don't have extra money to spend, especially when you can just replicate them for free yourself. Watch again, subscribe, comment, and visit, and join us next time when we'll uncover chords.